Good morning, everybody. We no longer have any undefeated teams in the NFL. That and so much more to dive into. Welcome to Undisputed. I'm Jen Hale here with Skip Bayless and Shannon Sharp. Hi, guys. Good morning. Good morning, Jen. Cry, Eagles, cry. Why, Eagles, why? My, Eagles, my. The door has now opened in the NFC beast as it's become. How many games do you I've lost track. <laughs> I don't even care. I know they've lost one. That's okay. That's Ooh, just a couple back. They, that's that's fewer than what you lost. Christmas Eve, we got something for them. We got a little present yeah, okay. for them. Okay, all right. You better Dallas. Pay. Yep, we got Five something. Five Chains got something for y'all yeah. on Sunday. Does he really? Yeah, sure does. Got any do on that? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Okay. I sure do. All right, good. <laughs> Is it going to be a due day? That yeah. is fantastic. Yep. I want you to be very bold with your predictions and bets, gentlemen. All right, let's start with what unfolded on the football field last night. Commanders handing the Eagles their first loss of this season. Oh, my gosh, 32-21. Woo! Washington forced four Philly turnovers, seven penalties. The Commanders were able to run the ball 49 times. When that happens, it means you usually dominate the time of possession, holding on to the ball twice as long as the Eagles. Shannon, did the Eagles get exposed last night? Well, Skip, I think if you look at all 32 teams, obviously the team we're talking about, the team that's in playoff contention or can make the possible playoffs, so or maybe even be in Super Bowl contenders. Everybody has weaknesses. But I saw something against the Texans, and I came out here the next day and I said, Skip, I see something that's alarming. The Texans, and everybody said, Shannon, it was a short week. You know, a short Who, week. Who's everybody? You. <laughs> you, oh, oh, you, okay. you, like, because you're talking about which, hold on, hold on, hold on, let me finish. Because we were looking at down the schedule, who could cause them a problem? Who could hang the first loss on the Eagles? And I'm saying, Skip, a team that can run the football. And I named the team. I said, Washington can run the football with those two backs, yada, yada, yada. Oh, did you pick Washington? Over no, Philly? I didn't pick I don't Washington. I remember that. Okay, Skip. go ahead. The problem is stopping the run. Mm. Since Jordan Davis, the big DT out of Georgia, mm. they gave up 168. They gave up 162. Mm -hmm. Now, the earliest he can return is against the Tennessee Titans. We know what Tennessee can do. And that was the problem last night. So now, your heart, you can't stop the run. Now he play action you. All the, now, he made uh, uh, McLaurin. Those guys make some tough catches. But there were some catches that guys were open because you're so worried about the run, guys are not able to get to their proper depth. And uh, Heineke, give him to his credit, he hung in there. He made some big-time throws. He did. Skip, look. And I, what I don't get about the Eagles, four rushes in the first half. Now, it seems to me, now maybe, maybe it, was, it was just early in the game, but it looks like to me A.J. Brown was nicked. And so the Eagles say, you know well, he what? he got nicked on an early like catch first, where he came, he came out of his break, break. And, and it looked like he pulled his calf or something. So I'm looking at the game and saying, okay, so you thought the best, like, A.J. Brown, our best receiver, he's hurt. Yep. So the best thing for us to do is to ask Jalen Hurts to drop back and throw the ball more. You are a running football team. Most of your success comes off of RPOs. Mm -hmm. To ask Jalen Hurts, and he has improved throwing the football skip, but to ask him to drop back and just sling it, you're asking. You're setting yourself up for trouble. Mm. My four carries, Skip. Mm. Four rushes in the first half with a running team, a top five, top six rush team. You got four carries in the first half. Mm. To Washington credit, they did a great job, Skip. You you gonna lose a game. You get you have 21 first down, uh, third down attempts, and you allow the team to convert over half of those. You're probably gonna lose. You let the team possess the ball double the amount of time that you have it you're probably going to lose the ball. Mm. You allow a team to run 34 more plays, you're probably going to lose the game. So Philly did a lot of things. I don't know what the hell Quez Watkins was thinking, Skip. Why the hell he go to the ground? Let me tell you why. Because here's the guy that's unsure of his hands. He's like, I got to make sure I catch this football. That is correct. So all they do is keep running. He going to run up under the ball, run into the end zone. But he's unsure of his hands. Mm -hmm. He goes to the ground. He gets up. Then he was further unsure of his hands because he didn't hang on to the ball when he got stripped from behind. Skip. You went to the ground. The DB that was covering you, he didn't go to the ground. He did not. So what do you think he's going to be at when you get up and you put the ball right here? Mm -hmm. He come great to his credit. Man, he beat me. Uh-uh. Let me get this. Make the chop. Ball comes out. One of his teammates recover the football. Mm -hmm. Head back the other way. Mm -hmm. The Eagles did a lot of things, Skip. Look, they better fix this. They better fix this run game. This uh, 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 stopping the run. They better stop the run because if you don't, Guess who else is on their schedule? Everybody. Look at, look at the team that's on their schedule, Skip. All these teams can run the football. Their recipe is not throwing the ball with Jalen Hurts. Their recipe, Skip, they ran one RPO last night. It was for a touchdown. You know, the, the little jump pass, he faked it. He's like, he's going quarterback draw, and he jumps up and hit Goddard. 
other night he's just dropping back and throwing the ball. They ran some zone reads. I don't know what you call an RPO, but go ahead. But Skip, <clears throat> look, I don't, I don't want to overreact, but I do see the Eagles until they get Big Jordan Davis back that can stop that run. They're gonna, they, they're gonna, they're gonna. Hey, now teams are looking at them like, hold on, Washington's not that good. Now you got to give my homeboy five chains some credit because mm. my five, my homeboy was down ten points to them on the road, mm. and we ain't got that thing, didn't mm. he? He didn't, he didn't get it. Mm. <laughs> I'll put do it right now. You keep talking. Well, you want keep to? talking and okay. want to see what what I'll I do. Go ahead, go ahead. I'll take it right now. You will give me the two points? No. Oh, you scared? Heck, no. How how is my team a favorite at Minnesota? Of your conviction. Wait a second. Maybe the odds makers got no use for Kurt Five Chains, right? <laughs> you will after the game. Okay, my turn. I have doubted the Eagles' defense all year long. I don't doubt big play Slay because he's right at the top of my cornerback list yeah. this year, although that guy in Green Bay is pretty great. He, he did quite a job and a number on my team on Sunday in Green Bay. But the point is, I do think they are suspect on defense. I do think you can get them on defense. And they got got last night mm -hmm. because – Washington is a talented football team. I don't care what you say. They go as their quarterback goes because that's really the way every team goes as its quarterback <laughs> yeah. goes. And every once in a while, it kind of goes from day to night to night to day. Little Heineke can light you up. He can get hot. And he was fairly hot last night. At least he didn't do too much to hurt them. He did throw one ill-advised pick. Mm -hmm. And he got stripped and, and uh, strip-sacked at one point. Mm -hmm. But in the big picture, I thought he played well enough to win the game. He made some big-time throws, though. Big-time throws and some big third-down throws. They can run the ball because they have some talented running backs yeah. who run hard. They run as hard as that Houston kid runs. Yeah, <laughs> and, Pierce. Yeah, and so the point is, when, when you have somebody like McLaurin, listen, he is big time he to me. Is. And, and he rose and shone last night on Monday Night Football, and he was lighting them up, and he was telling them all about it. You can't cover me, and you can't, and you can't cover me. And He wasn't I, lying. He, he wasn't lying because I, I fear him as a Cowboy fan, and I do respect his talent because we saw his talent in college. Mm -hmm. And there was a reason he went that high in the draft, and there's a reason that he's had a lot of big games in this league. So, yeah. so he's a legit force to mm -hmm. me. And so the, they are a legit team that, that you can't take lightly. And I thought the Eagles came out on Monday Night Football like, okay, here we are. We got this. And for the first time all year, the ball didn't bounce their way. Yes. They got some bad breaks on bad bounces. There was one, I'm about to get to it, egregiously missed call on a <laughs> face mask, mask that, that changed the game, Idiot. I thought. But the point is, there's sheep think operating in the National Football League. So uh, it felt like Ron Rivera sat back on Sunday and he's watching what's transpiring. And what happened with Aaron Rodgers and Tom Brady, the, the two elder statesmen, the two all-timers? What did their teams decide to do this, this past Sunday? Run the football. They just decided, we're going to go run heavy. We're going to run it more than we throw it. And Ron Rivera, old school Chicago Bear that he is, I think he just said, you know what? That's right. That, well, why didn't I think of that? He won't well, run it anyway, though, yeah, Skip. But, but, he he does, but, but, but again, the point is, that all of a sudden it's like, oh, run it and play defense. Oh, that's an old school formula mm -hmm. that used to work. Right. Nobody does it anymore. But all of a sudden he comes out and he does it. And as Jen mentioned, they run the ball 49, 49 times. They didn't run it that well because they only averaged 3.1 yards per, per rush, which usually might get you beat if, yeah. if you can only rush it for 3.1. But the, the point was they were timely rushes because they kept making – First downs on close third downs, well, Skip, right? When it's third and one and you get two yards, that's all you need. That's so you're not you going to have no big average, but you're going to get the clean Now the back to moving. your point, 12 of 21 on third down. Well, it's amazing you'd have 21, 21? third down tries in that's a game. That's crazy. And you convert over half of them. What's the percentage on that? 57. 57%. It's too good. That's how you win the game, which down to, as Jen mentioned, time of possession. It's 40 minutes to 20 minutes. It means that Jalen Hurts and company, even though A.J. looked nicked, but he's still got Devontae, he, even though all that was going on, 
if, if you only give Jalen Hurts the ball for 20 minutes at home, you got a real shot because 20 minutes isn't very long. Look at the plays in the game. Would you believe it's 80. 81 to 47? So, so think of this. Washington runs the, 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 the plays 81 times. They get the ball, run a play 81 times to only 47 for the home team? Mm -hmm. That's how you go win or steal a football game in Philadelphia against an 8 no team. Skip, and they you, did it. But Skip, you know what? When you look at the Eagles, the Eagles are a first half team. You look at them, they average almost they average 19 points, 234 yards in the first half. Yep. They're down to all, under eight in the second half and almost 100 fewer yards. So what they're doing is that they're trying to pile on you in the first half, blow the doors off you, and then they coast at home. Because mm -hmm. no, if you look at them in the second quarter, how much, how many uh, um, uh, more points in the uh, second quarter they score than their opponent. So that's when they really blow the game open. And so they're kind of on cruise control. Washington said, nah. We're going to be in the lead in the first half. We're going to make you play catch up. We're going to make you put you in a situation because what do they always do, Skip? They always go to the half with the lead. Mm. Last night was the first time they didn't have the lead. So now we're in an unfamiliar situation. Now what do we do? Okay, and last night was the first time all year that they didn't take it away more than they gave it away. Yeah, and they damn sure gave it away last night. Shall we count the ways? <laughs> Let's see Jalen Hurts' first interception that he threw, his only interception of the night. Let's see what happened on this play. It's a deep ball to A.J. Brown. And I thought it was right on it, the it money. Through, it went through his arm. It went right through his hands. It went through a lot of hands and wound up in the wrong hands. If we could see this play, I don't know if we have the, the, the back, the back the, angle yeah. of it. You can just see it. It goes right, right through A.J. Brown's hands. He has two hands.